Good afternoon, everybody. This is Colby with Kowalski Does, and today we have a special unboxing of some Hot Wheel cars. Uh, my parents live in Wichita, Kansas. Yes, I have no idea why they want to live there. They moved there from Charlotte, tried to get them to come to Florida, and they decided to go to Wichita. Well, my dad knows that I'm into Hot Wheels. Uh, he knows that I like to sell them. He knows I like to collect them, and he knows that my son absolutely loves Hot Wheels. So he was at a garage sale and he's found some Hot Wheels and he sent me a picture and he said, hey, these are on their way to you. And uh, here's the box. So I've only seen them from the picture. So let's go ahead and get into them and just see what we've got here. Now this is the first time I'm opening the box. I open the box this way to take the tape off and of course to cover up the addresses. I have not been past this point. I can tell you that my dad loves to tape stuff so who knows what kind of tape job we got here how does he even tape on the inside of the box look at that i don't even know let's go in the other way all right so let's see here got some oh, first one out Oop, got some walmart bags here get these out of the way all right the first one we have here this is the Sugar Rush series. It's the 1969 Mustang convertible, car number 44, and it's the Butterfingers. Well, that is really cool. I do like Mustangs, and my wife likes Butter Butterfingers, so that works out really well. Collector number 744 from 1997. That's cool. A picture of the uh, Hot Wheel, Hot Wheels World. Special collector poster. That's a cool looking car. I like that. We are off to a good start. Yeah, let's pull out another one. Let's try to figure out how he put these in there. Oh, a fire truck. This is the Hot Wheels Fire Eater, number 82. Wow, that is pretty cool. And I can tell you that these cars are heavy. So they definitely don't make them like this anymore. Okay, there we go on the back. Collector number 82. And it's got the different ones. The classic, the off-road, and the workhorses. The recycling truck. Ooh, that would be fun to find. My son loves garbage trucks, recycling trucks things like that so we are doing good here let's see if we can't get another one out of here all right this is the 2001st edition number 17 of 36 and this is the angular panel truck well, that's cool let's just say jonathan's express delivery toys and collectibles that is pretty cool That is really cool. I like the orange window. Guaranteed for life. Again, we have another picture on the back here, and this is of the track system. This is pretty cool with the little checklist on the back. 1999. Oh, he did good by finding this lot. Here we go. We have from the same. This is the uh, workhorse area thing this is the ford steak fed truck rapid delivery kind of looks like that may uh, tilt up and down i don't know kind of looks that way the way it's uh, attached right there and this is number 237 and the red and yellow there nice This one is cool. This one is a 1997 first edition, way too fast, number seven of 12. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, the, the dual motors, the checkered flag on the top. That is a cool looking car right there. Another different, the track system. 
1987. That is cool. Well, I think my dad did pretty good. Just sending out to all the garage sales. This one is the Radio Flower Wagon, or Flyer Wagon, 1996 first edition, number nine of 12. That is pretty cool. This is from the Premier Collector's model. That is really cool looking. My son actually has a radio flyer, flyer wagon out in the garage. All right, on to the next car. We've got a lot of cars in here. Nice, this is the proper chopper. This is a collector number 185. So you can see there, what does that say there? City of Hot Wheels. Rescue unit number four, search and rescue. Okay, so there's two blades there and I bet you they pop out. So that way you get the full, full propeller there. Nice. This is the ambulance, number 71. Still from the city of Hot Wheels, the ambulance. This is unit number five. This is the radio dispatch. And these, oh look, the opening of the back doors there. Put the people in there. It's at the black bottom. These cars are so heavy. Like you can tell that they're just quality. Not saying that the new ones aren't quality, but not like these. All right, a 1998 first edition, 32 Ford, number 7 of 40. That is nice. Oh. I really like those rims. Those are nice in that flame paint job. The black bottom. It's just tough looking. Oh, they used to have a birthday club. All right, on to the next one. This one is the Shadow Jet. Collector number 182. It's cool. I guess the driver would sit right there in the swoop there. And you got the five spoke rims. This one is the Power Rocket, number 351. Coolest to collect. That is cool looking there. Danger, watch for flame. Oh, that's cool. That is pretty cool. And here's where it says fuel. That'd probably be a fun car to drive. Just not stand behind. There are a ton of cars in here. Whoa, that's cool. There's a forklift collector number 475. That is cool. I wonder if that... You can't tell if that goes up. It doesn't look like it does. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. 1995, that is cool. Like I said, all these cars have some really good weight to them. All right, the Porsche 930, collector number nine, or 592. Oh, look at that thing sparkle. Oh, it's got the Hot Wheel right on the hood there, the hood emblem. A little spoiler. That is cool. Oh, this one looks really cool. This one is the Tipper from the BD Construction. And that one probably does tip, considering that that probably opens up too. And it looks like definitely that there's a hinge right there. But this is number 712. Oh, well, that's cool. First line of Hot Wheels construction vehicles in 1980 featured real working parts. Look for the cat forklift and the cat bulldozer. That is pretty cool. Definitely got some really cool looking cars out of this garage sale here. And there are so many. Look at how many more there are. This one here is the Dogfighter from collector number 375. It's 
Got the K9 and the Hot Wheels and the flame there. Oh, and the propeller? That is cool. Gotta start stacking them over here now. Then that space. Nice. This one is the Corvette Split Window. Collector number 447 in the nice green color with this. This is an authentic split rear window. That is super cool looking. Let's see if we got the little hot wheel right up there on the on the dash. Alright, next car. Next car we got here is the Rockin' Rod series. Four of four, the Porsche 930. So we have another Porsche here. And this one is got some nice uh, graphics on it. There's the Hot Wheel logo. There's looks like a guitar. Metal, it says right there. Oh, up there it says Rock and Roll. Is it Rock and Roll or Rock and Rod? I think it says Rock and Rod. Probably because it's the Rock and Rod series. That's cool. So two Porsche 930s, and one is different. That's cool. Oh, look at this. This is the Digger, number 643. Oh, and it definitely it turns, because you can see it there. This right here will turn around with the Digger, and you can scoop and everything. That is cool. Hot Wheels there, and I'm pretty sure that that says City of Hot Wheels. That is super cool. This one is the Shadow Jet. So we got two Shadow Jets, number 182. Our first real duplicate. Oh, that one's cool. The Mercedes Benz. What is that? Umi, Umag? Unag? Number 239. In the camo there. The big old tough tires. That is pretty cool. Oh, this one is called the Tropical Series. The Baja Bug, number four of uh, number two of four. And this is the Buggin Taxi. And there's a looks like a little Rasta guy there. That's the Jamaican flag colors. Buggin Taxi. That is cool. Definitely some cool cars here, man. Nice. Here we go. Here's a Street Beast series. This is the Wildcat Attack. The Jaguar XJ220, number 4 of 12. All right. Looks like a, probably a Jaguar since it's a Jaguar. Street Beast ripping at the car. You see the, the claws right there. There's the Jaguar right there. That is cool looking. I like the gold rims. Getting down in here. Only like five or six left. Nice. This is the 1999 first editions. Teed off. Number nine of 26. It's the uh, souped up golf cart. Miller CC Country Club. Be fun to drive that around on the golf course. Be more uh, fun driving that than it would be playing golf. I live here in Florida and it's uh, feels like it's about 107 outside. Oh, this is cool. This is the Commando Tank, number 486. And this is in the purple and black, Night Force. I don't think that top turns. And if it does, looks like it's got a couple of stoppers right there and right there. So it may just go back and forth like that. Pretty cool looking. All right, another radio flyer wagon, number 827. So we got two of those. Nice. This one is a 2001st Editions Pro Stock Firebird, number 436. Kaboom. That's what it says there. 
And it's got some decals there from sponsors. Nice little orange scoop right there. Kaboom. Cool looking little car. All right, we got two left, it looks like here. This one is the Neat Streeter, number 526. Cool looking car there. And we got the last one here. And this one is First Editions. And it is called the, it's hard to read that, the Slide Out. It's the R-Man, number six. Pretty cool looking. Number two of 40. So that is what I got from the parents, uh, from my dad out in Wichita at a garage sale. Uh, let me know, so leave a comment. Let me know which car you liked the best, which one your favorite one was. Uh, some of these might end up on eBay. Some of these will stay in my collection and some of these will go to my, my son. Again, thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so that way you get notified when I do the next video. Happy hunting.